In this video, you're gonna learn how to place a breakpoint that only gets triggered when a certain condition is met. So, we have a simple list of names and a for each loop that logs all of them to the console. Let's say we are only interested in names that are three letters in length. A normal breakpoint won't do in this situation since it will pause the app on every iteration. To avoid that, we will need to use a conditional breakpoint. Right click on the left side of the relevant line and click Insert Conditional Breakpoint. This should end up opening a breakpoint settings window with a conditional expression. The field on the right will accept C -sharp code, so you can reference any relevant values here and make the necessary checks. Let's type in name.length equals 3 and press enter. If you now run the app in debug mode, you will see that the breakpoint only gets triggered once it reaches the name Anna, which matches our condition. Now we actually have two three letter names, so it will also get triggered on the name Bob as well. Let's say we only want to trigger the breakpoint after the first occurrence. In case you already closed the window we just opened, you can restore it by hovering over your breakpoint and clicking settings. Add a second condition, select hit count, set the next value to more or equal, type in two as the last value, and press enter. This will ensure that the breakpoint only gets triggered when it has been hit two or more times. In our case, it will just trigger on the name Bob. And there we go. You now know how to use conditional breakpoints.